Hey guys, what's up, what's going on? It's Jem here with another Pick A Card reading for you guys. Before we jump into this, I just wanna mention that I have a bunch of new bracelets up on my shop. I made a bunch of new ones, plus restocked a bunch of old ones. So if you guys wanna go check it out, the link is in the description box, and I'll also post it in the comments with the timestamps for the cards. But this Pick A Card reading is all about what is causing your stress or anxiety and how to fix it. I feel like this is something that can help a lot of different people because sometimes we're stressed and anxious and we don't really know what's causing it, or maybe we know what's causing it, but we don't know how to fix it. So I wanted to make this Pick A Card reading for you guys to explain exactly what is causing it and how to fix it so that you guys can live a more stress-free, less anxiety kind of life because I feel like a lot of us are going through that right now, especially with the eclipse that just happened, the lunar eclipse, it was an intense one. So we are going to do a pick a card reading all for that. So if you guys are new to pick a card readings, you don't quite know how it works, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little rundown. So basically this is pile number one, this is pile number two, this is pile number three, this is pile number four, and these are the piles. Usually I have more piles, but for some reason I felt like only doing four this time. I don't know why, but we're just gonna go with it. So take a moment, find out which pile calls to you the most. And once you find out which pile calls to you the most, I'll have the timestamps linked in the description box and also in the comment box down below so that you guys can just click on it and hop right into your guys' reading. So without further ado, let's get started. So pile number one, let's find out what is causing your stress or anxiety and how to fix it. All right, guys, so pile number one, this is what I'm seeing for you guys. We have the um, four of cups right here, and this kind of tells me that you're kind of in a space where you are looking at the negative sort of things, or that you don't feel like you're good enough, or you feel like you can't take certain opportunities because you don't feel like you know you are good enough to take them even when they're offered to you, or that you feel just down on your past or things that have happened in the past, or you feel held back in some kind of way, but you feel like you just can't jump on the opportunities that are being presented to you or that you can't go out and do things or that you feel like somehow like your emotions you're too upset over what had happened in the past because we also have the south node here which is don't let your past hold you back so if something has happened to you in the past that either made you feel like restricted or made you feel really down on yourself or something that makes you feel really sad or depressed or just like unmotivated or anything like that it's kind of bringing those kind of emotions up so this is what's causing your stress or anxiety is something that happened in the past or just patterns that have happened in the past or just like um, negative mind frames about yourself that you've had for a very long time. So with looking at that, we also have the Knight of Cups here. So I feel like you're being presented with opportunities to come out of it. I feel like you, you're you having invitations to go out or having invitations to go and do something and um, having these opportunities coming towards you, but you somehow feel like you can't take it or you feel like you're not good enough to take it or you just, you're too depressed to take it and you don't want to get up off your butt or you're too busy looking at all the negative things and that you're just not inspired by the invitations that you're getting because you're just so like in a place of stress anxiety and sometimes when we're in that place we just anything that comes up we're just like nah I don't feel like it it's fine no so that's what's causing your stress or anxiety. I feel like you could really get out of your stress or anxiety if you actually just take the opportunities just you'd be like you know what I'm just gonna do it. And with the Four of Cups here, this card always talks about grabbing the cup that's behind you. Because if we look at this card right here, he is, and ignore my nail, I know it's kinda gross, but, um, so he's right here looking at all the negative things. He either feels like he's not worthy, not good enough, or he um, is upset about something that happened in the past or anything like that. But there is a cup being offered to him in the side, but he's almost not even seeing it because he's so focused on the negative. So it's saying, turn around, change your mindset, to something a bit more positive and you'll notice a huge difference. It's like you, you're gonna make the whole difference if you just change your mind frame. And I know it's like easier said than done because I know what that feeling is like. I totally get it. But this is definitely just saying like, at the very least, take the opportunities that are being presented to you. So if you get offers to go out, to do some sort of things, just take it because all of a sudden you're gonna get re-inspired. All of a sudden, this is like the beginning of like inspiration. The Page of Wands is like the beginning of an inspiring journey. And so it's gonna put you to a place where you're about to start an inspiring journey finally. You're about to like come out and climb out of, you know, what's holding you back and the things that are going on and you're gonna start this whole new kind of 
process. I feel like being surrounded by people will help you as well, like being surrounded by friends, because we do have the Sisterhood of the Rose, beauty and devotion, priestess, mystic teacher. So this also correlates a lot with the Knight of Cups. So somehow going on some kind of spiritual quest or spiritual journey will also really unlock your freeness to be happier and let go of your anxiety and let go of your stress is going on some type of spiritual path. Because these both talk about spiritual quests, um, learning your more spiritual like gifts and stuff like that and developing them more. More, it can it can definitely talk about that but it also talks about beauty and stuff so it's like talking about you know get up in the morning and take care of yourself and I'm not saying you don't take care of yourself but it's saying like you know like do your makeup in the morning or if you're a guy like do your hair in the morning or do something that's gonna make you feel really good put on the clothes that make you feel really good and it's gonna pull you out of your stress or anxiety it's gonna pull you out of like the depression or anything that you're going through it's gonna make you feel better, it's gonna make you feel more worthy, it's gonna make you just have that, that feeling. And so, you know, clothes and makeup and all that stuff is not actually what makes us, you know, better or anything by that means at all. But sometimes it can emotionally make us feel better just because, you know, we're doing something for ourselves. So just throwing that out there, we also have the Taurus I Have card. So with this, um, it can kind of talk about like maybe even like you feel like you don't have enough um, that can also cause stress or anxiety because you feel like, you know, maybe you're just looking at the lack of what you don't have and there's things that you want in life but you don't feel like they're coming that quickly for you. But this is saying like if you jump on the opportunities and you start focusing on the positives, you're going to start attaining all those things that you feel like you're lacking. You're going to start creating all of the things in your life that you currently feel like you don't have. You're all of a sudden going to have them. So um, own the fact that you know you are good enough, you are worthy, jump on the opportunities that are being presented to you, go out with friends, learn a bit more about your spirituality and your spiritual side and step into that a little bit more because all of a sudden you're gonna start manifesting things like like you wouldn't believe, like this Taurus, Taurus is all the material stuff that you could ever want and so you're gonna start manifesting the job that you want, the person that you want, um, the clothes that you want, the car that you want, the furniture or whatever else that you want, like you're gonna start manifesting those things into your life. Um, but you have to start focusing on the positive. And so that is what I'm seeing for you, pile number one. All right, moving on to pile number two. Let's find out what is causing your stress or anxiety and how you can fix it. All right, so pile number two, immediately we have the devil card in the beginning. And this card talks about being... Um, you know, held back or chained to something, addicted to something. So most of the time when it comes up beside the King of Cups, it can mean somebody who likes to drink a lot. So I'm just saying if you like to party or drink or anything like that, it's a major cause of stress or anxiety. If you don't drink or anything like that, um, this can just mean being in a toxic relationship, having your emotions toyed with or played with in a bad sort of way. And um, it can also rule like emotionally not connecting to yourself. You're not connected to your own emotions the way that you should be or denying them. You're probably in something that uh, might be a little bit abusive, whether it's, it's most likely emotionally, since it's beside the King of Cups, the Cups always rule our emotions. So you might be in something that's a little bit emotionally abusive or emotionally toying with your emotions, playing with your emotions, and it's causing you stress or anxiety whether you see it or not. Someone's either playing with your feelings and they're not being honest and you need to you know, let it go, walk away from it. This is the Six of Swords. This is literally breaking free from something. It might be hard to break free from it, especially if you're like in a relationship and you love somebody or you're really emotionally attached to something or addicted to something. It can be really hard to break free from it, but it takes us to a new place, a beautiful place that you need to be, that you need to go to. So you need to work through your fears with the new moon in Scorpio. It's talking about work through any sort of fears that you have about letting this go and just let it go because it's literally gonna take away all of your stress or anxiety. It's, it's like something that you need Need to do to you know break free from what's holding you back because the devil's always talks about something that's really toxic not good it's really a not good situation you don't want to be stuck in it and it's causing your stress and anxiety and the only way to fix it is to let it go and to like break free from it so whether it's a relationship whether it's um, substance addictions or anything like that or like emotional abuse from a, another type of person um, or being having your emotions played with and maybe you think that this person loves you um, and they you know try to lie to you about that kind of stuff but then they actually don't or whatever so it's talking about you know either you're really addicted to um, just like some kind of like substance or something that fills you emotionally you're somehow addicted to something that fills you emotionally um, whether it's drugs alcohol or another person I keep saying the same thing over and over again but it, I just like 
I want to say it can be it can mean a lot of different things. So it's not like I'm saying that everyone who picked this pile is addicted to alcohol or anything like that. Um, but some of you might be. It's a general reading, so I'm just throwing it out there that it can be any or all of those things. But just find out which one kind of resonates with you the most, and that that'll be what it is. Whatever makes sense to you. So it can either be like a relationship, like I said, or an actual substance that or whatever. So it could be somebody who's not treating you very well, but it's talking about you need to break free from it. This like you need to break free. That's the only way you're gonna get rid of your stress or anxiety and this is what's causing your stress or anxiety whether you realize it or not. Then we also have the great gathering. It's all coming together, intuitive hits, soul tribe. So I feel like you, you already know it because this is talking about intuitive hits. So you're already getting this like feeling about it and I feel like you might kind of see it, but you might be denying it a little bit, or you might be like, oh, well, I can fix it, or it'll fix itself, or something like that, or it's not as bad as it as it really is, but it's saying, no, it's as bad as it really is. Like, your intuition's not lying to you. Um, whatever the feelings that you get about it, trust it, because it's literally telling you that this is not good, and you need to break free from it just because it's not healthy for you. And then we also have the 10th house of the world. And so this talks about, you know, also dive into something around work. 10th house always deals with work, um, the worldly things. Maybe go travel a little bit because the Six of Swords is about traveling. And so maybe you need to get out of where you are, go somewhere else, move somewhere else, or travel in order to kind of renew yourself and kind of break free from whatever is going on. So it's talking about that as well, but you definitely need to somehow get out of it, whether it's just, you know, moving away from that thing, moving away from that person, um, whether it's physically or emotionally moving away, but somehow you need to just move away and you know, break free and start a whole new life for yourself, really. Because the world talks about completions as well. So it's about completing an old phase and just restarting on a whole new level, a more healthy, beautiful level. So that's what I'm seeing for you, pile number two. All right, so moving on to pile number three. This is what is causing your stress or anxiety and how to fix it. Okay, so this, this is a very clear message in this card. I don't even need to like think about this one for a second. This one's like, this one's ultra clear. So it starts off with the Three of Swords. The Three of Swords always talks about a heartbreak. So somehow you are dealing emotionally with a broken heart. Like either you just went through a breakup or, um, you know, somebody hurt your feelings or just somehow you lost something and your heart is just broken right now, okay? So we have a lot of things going on. We have the, Hi the Chiron healing card right here. So it's talking about you need to heal your heart. So what's causing your stress or anxiety is obviously the broken heart that you're going through. And I think you're trying to distract yourself right now with filling your time up with so many different things, but you need to deal with it. It's talking about you're just distracting yourself. That broken heart is still just as much there as it was yesterday, a week ago, a month ago, whenever whenever this thing happened, it is still very much there and I feel like you haven't actually faced it or dealt with it and you've just been filling up your time. So you're distracting yourself, you're probably like diving into a lot of work or just like going out with friends or diving into this or you know talking to people and just not dealing with what's actually going on. And so this talks about adjustments are required. This is the third quarter moon which literally says adjustments are required right now. So you need to adjust your life. You need to revamp your life. You need to go through a whole transformation which is funny because we got two transformation cards here which is the death and the transformation card right here. So both of these talk about huge huge transformation. You just need to like kind of revamp yourself, kind of heal yourself, but also go through a major transformation and change yourself completely. I feel like you're stuck in some sort of pattern where this is going to kind of keep happening to you just based on, you know, the kind of patterns that you fall through and the kind of behavior that you maybe have or the kind of behavior that you have that attracts the same situation to you just because maybe you're either not standing up for yourself or, you know, maybe you just have some sort of like patterns that just keep making you need to deal with something and so you need to kind of adjust yourself, transform yourself and heal yourself from this situation. So completely just take a time to reflect on it and bring up those emotions to deal with them and face it head on and see it for what it is and allow it to transform you. It's funny, this transformation card says things are changing at a cellular level, deep healing and then we have the Chiron of healing. You need to go through a huge healing. You need to give yourself some time. Take time for yourself. Take time to reflect and feel and, you know, sit there with a thing of ice cream and just allow the emotions to come up 
and feel them and what are they telling you and how can you change how can you heal yourself and how can you be um a new person based on this because this is talking about the transformation that you need to go through so somehow you need to transform yourself and renew yourself and have this new sense of self that comes out that is stronger than ever allow you know the swords through the heart everyone that goes through heartbreak kind of feels like their heart gets cut open so with this allow your heart to heal in such a way where the scars that are left there you know scars are always a stronger tissue so it's harder to cut open the same spot again that has a scar on it. Um, it's harder to, you know, break that part. So allow yourself to heal in such a way where it's, you're a stronger person now because of it. You're a more stable person now because of it. You're a more sure person and you're not going to be scared to get, you know, to wear your heart on your sleeve again because a lot of people fall into the place where they're scared to fall in love again or they're scared to get hurt again. But don't let that be the case because all of us deserve love, all of us need love and want love, and all of us, you know, we deserve it. So don't let yourself like go up into like a cocoon, don't try to just avoid it or anything like that. Transform yourself and be this strong, beautiful person who's ready. And no matter how long it takes you, sometimes it takes people a while, sometimes it takes people a short time, but what, however long that you need to heal, take that time for the healing. So that's what I'm seeing for you, pile number three. All right, so moving on to our last pile, pile number four. This is what's causing your stress or anxiety and then also how to fix it. All right, so pile number four. This is what I'm seeing that is causing your stress or anxiety and how to fix it. So we start off with the Ace of Swords and this card talks about um, your thoughts, your way of thinking, and maybe you're harsh on yourself. Swords can be very cutting. They can be very harsh. They can be very truthful. And so it's about um, seeing the truth, hearing the truth, speaking the truth. And what might be causing your stress or anxiety is, you know, do you know how to speak the truth? Are you confident enough to speak the truth? Are you confident enough to own the truth and own who you are and the person that you are and the, the way that you think? And um, it's kind of causing your stress or anxiety because somehow, you know, Ace of Swords always talks about truth. It always talks about bringing up the truth, whether it hurts us or not, um, but somehow you need to speak the truth. So in that, we have the Queen of Wands next. So this is about, you know, owning who you are, like feeling like you're, you know, a queen, feeling social, feeling excited to be social. Queen of Wands is always excited to be social. So I don't know if you have maybe some social anxiety or like um, something where it's hard to speak the truth or it's hard for you to, to speak your thoughts because the Ace of Swords is also our ways of thinking. It's the new ideas, the new thoughts, the new things that we want to act on, but maybe we don't feel confident enough to act on them. Maybe we don't feel confident enough to say these things or to actually start doing them and to bring them into life and to bring them into fruition. And then we also have the Empress. The Empress always talks about new ideas, new inspirations, a birth of a new idea. She's also the mother card. She nurtures herself. And so I feel like you need to be less harsh on yourself because it's what's causing your stress or anxiety. Your way of thinking is causing your stress and anxiety, the way that you're harsh on yourself. I think you're a little bit too harsh on yourself. Maybe you feel a lack of confidence or maybe you feel like you're not good enough or maybe you tell yourself you're not good enough or you tell yourself these things that just, you know, kind of like push you down and make you feel like you can't start these new ideas and these new things or that you can't be social or that you can't do this. And I feel like you are your own like worst critic because the Ace of Swords is the critic. There, It's like, the critique and everything it's the beginning of it though so it's going to develop stronger and stronger until you heal that part of yourself i think you need to heal that because i think you are a really beautiful person that has really good ideas and really good inspirations and you could be like the total queen the empress that like sits on her throne but i feel like you're a little bit too harsh on yourself your your thoughts um like you need to you need to find out what's true and what's not i feel like your truth you're being a way too harsh with your truth or not speaking the full truth so it can go either way again it's a general reading so just kind of feel what correlates to you the most and that'll be what it is for you so it can either be you know being too harsh on yourself and your thoughts are too harsh on yourself or maybe you are too scared to speak the truth because you're too scared of hurting other people or you're not um like confident enough to somehow speak the truth and you're wanting to you know keep your 
best foot forward, but you know, sometimes it's hard to speak the truth because maybe it doesn't always look like the best foot forward, or maybe it's not what we think is the best foot forward, but to other people, maybe they just don't really care. So just be yourself, be you, and be way less harsh on yourself. You don't need to critique yourself so much. You're good enough the way that you are, and you can be and stand in your truth and feel your truth and be a queen just the way you are right now. So stop being so harsh on yourself and just own who you are and feel good about being who you are because that's what's causing your stress and anxiety. So all you need to do is stop being harsh on yourself, look at who you are and be proud of who you are because you are somebody that deserves to be proud of who you are. Then we also have the new moon in Sagittarius, luck is on your side. So I feel like, you know, you are a lucky person, you're in a lucky position, you can be this amazing person, you have really good ideas. New moon in Sagittarius is somebody who's like really inspired, really exciting. She correlates a lot to the queen of wands. The queen of wands could totally be a Sagittarius. She's all the fire signs. And so be inspirational, be fun. It just be free. Sagittarius is all about being free and being fun. And so I think you just need to wake up and just, you know, be like, this is who I am. I don't need to try and expand it to being something that I'm not because Sagittarius is love to exaggerate the truth. And so don't exaggerate the truth, just say it like it is. Um, and then you're gonna have way less anxiety because then people won't you know, be expecting so much of you because they'll just know who you are, they'll know the truth of it. So don't try to like blow things up more than they are. Don't try to dim things down lower than they are. Just be real with it. And know that you're worthy with what that realness is. Then we also have the Irama, where are you being called to journey to? And so with this card, correlates a lot to the new moon in Sagittarius and the queen of wands. So where are you being called to journey to? Where are you being called to go? Um, and then head in that direction. If you wanna be something and you wanna do that, just go for it, go for it. And be the person that you are right now. Just own it and go for your dreams, go for what you want, but don't be harsh on yourself and only speak the truth of who you are and own who you are and be proud of who you are. Then we also have the Jupiter return of benefits. Jupiter is ruled by Sagittarius. We have so much Sagittarius stuff in this pile. It is insane. Oh my gosh. But Jupiter return, I feel like, you know, you're going to be rewarded for once you grow out of this and once you learn to be less harsh on yourself, you also learn to, you know, speak the truth for the way that it is and to stop uh, being like super critical, I feel like you're going to be rewarded for that. You're gonna have this like big Jupiter thing of expansion. Sorry, my camera ran out of space there for a second. I had to uh, erase some things. But anyway, so the last card, Jupiter return benefits. So this is just talking about, you know, once you kind of embrace who you are, you accept the truth, you're able to speak the truth, you're able to just be less critical on yourself and release like, you know, these, these thoughts of yourself and just feel good and own it, you're gonna be rewarded. You're gonna receive anything and everything that you could ever want, especially when you have a positive mindset because that's just how the law of attraction works and you're going to reap the rewards and the benefits of life and you're pretty much gonna get all your wishes because Jupiter return is like, you know, getting pretty much everything that you wish for. So, and Jupiter expands your life. Your life will be so much more expanded and social and fun and exciting and inspiring. So just so you know, it's looking pretty good for you. You just need to work through um, these things and you'll be good. So that is what I'm seeing for you, pile number four. So that is all for today's video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, don't forget to give it a really big thumbs up for me and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And turn on that notification bell if you wanna be notified every time I upload a video. And definitely go check out my store if you guys wanna buy some cool bracelets. They are all stocked back up for a little while. They're selling out really fast though. I have to make so many orders tonight. It's crazy, but yeah, definitely go check it out if you guys want some. I also have a bunch of different crystals on there as well. If you guys wanna go check that out as well and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.